guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with our monthly Aldi haul. Found a lot of great deals and I wanted to show them to you. I spent a little over $109, and I'm going to show you my frozen and refrigerated products first, and then I will put that away and come back and show you all of the pantry items. So we will start over here. I got two of these garlic cheese flatbreads. Now this is something that I've only found at Aldi seasonally, and I have picked these up before, and Howard and I really like them. This will be great for a light lunch or for dinner with a side salad. You guys know that I have talked about these French toast sticks on my all these favorite videos and I'll make sure to link it in the description box above and also in the cards above in the description box. But these are really, really good. I make these in my air fryer and they are a $1.99 a box and you get 20 French toast sticks. This is something new, a seasonal item. I think these were $4.99 a box or $3.99 a box. Um, you get six little mini pies. Now my husband likes apple pie and I like cherry pie. You get six each, so I'm excited to try those. This is also something that is new. They have three different flavors, but I got this one. It is a pasta sauce starter. And basically it's a like a cheese mix. And the instructions, let me find them for you. Right here, it says to cook your pasta, put the sauce starter in, mix in a cup of the pasta water, and then toss, and then toss, excuse me. So they had this one, and then they also had two others. I think one of them was a sun-dried tomato, and then there was one other, but I can't remember what it was. I wanted to try out their cheesy breadsticks and their pizza. I know a lot of people have hauled these before. I have never tried their take and bake anything. Uh, breadsticks or pizza. So this is a medium meat pizza. My husband really likes meat. You get sausage, pepperoni, Philly cheesesteak, bacon, and four cheeses. This is a medium pizza and it was about five bucks. And then I think these cheese sticks were also five bucks as well. And it's a pretty large size package. We love their steak fries, so I got a package of those. They were $1.59. And then I also needed some eggs. I just got one container. They were $1.09 because I plan on going to Sam's or Costco and getting some more eggs. So I just needed some to tie us, tie us over. I also grabbed a Caesar salad kit and a garden salad kit. I plan on having taco salads um, sometime this week. And so grabbed some garden salad and then I plan on having some pasta or something like that and I just wanted Caesar salad with it. Um, I grabbed some of these grilled chicken breast strips. Now I've seen them in the refrigerated section. I don't know if they don't sell them anymore or they were just out, but I found these in the frozen section and they were less than a dollar. You get, I'm sorry, less than $5 and you get a pound and a half basically um, of their grilled chicken breast strips and I found, and they're fully cooked. And I found that these come in handy when I'm making a quick meal, like Alfredo or something like that. It's so easy just to grab some and throw them in the pasta. So I grabbed those. And then, and all the time I have shopped at Aldi, I have never ever found any meat for half price. This is 80-20 and you get two and a half pounds and it was half off 11-11, so it was uh, five bucks and some change. So I plan on divvying this up and having it for meals, probably into like one and a half pound packages or 1.25, whatever. I'm gonna divvy that up. And then my husband really likes their lemonade and it was on sale for $1.29. I think it was 20 cents off. So I grabbed him a bottle of that. And then I have recently discovered their chicken patties. And so I thought their strips might be good too. I was really impressed with them. So I'm planning on cooking these up in the air fryer for our dinners. And by the way, our What's For Dinner videos come out on Tuesday, every single Tuesday. If you wanna check out some of those. And then my husband and I, we both love Brussels sprouts, so I grabbed some Brussels sprouts. Um, we usually buy these pre-shredded, so I may try to shred these um, for us and, and stir fry them up in some bacon or something like that. I also was looking in their fresh meat section for um, their tenderloins. They did not have any. And I discovered that they sell them in the frozen section, which I did not know. And so 
was actually a better deal in their frozen section. You get 2.8 ounces, two pounds, eight ounces, excuse me, of their boneless, skinless um, tenderloins for $5.45. So I thought that was a really good deal. I also grabbed a package of their mushrooms. I think they were $1.29. And then I grabbed two slices of um, sliced cheese. I got the sharp cheddar, and then also the Colby Jack for sandwiches, hamburgers, things like that, $1.79. Okay, so let me put this away, and then I will come back and show you all of the pantry items that I picked up. Okay, so let me jump in with the pantry stuff. I'll start right over here. Um, my husband really likes cashews, so I got him this container. Um, it was on sale for 11 something, and it's 30 ounces whole cashews. I did, he normally gets these from Sam's, and I did look on the app while I was um, at Aldi, and at Sam's Club, you get 33 ounces for 13 something. So it was actually cheaper per ounce at Aldi. So like I said, I got him a container. Um, I got him sea salt, but they also had unsalted. I also grabbed two containers of chicken broth for recipes that I plan on making. I typically use this chicken broth for a wonton soup that we really like. And then I just grabbed some more canned goods. So Aldi was pretty much back to normal, meaning it was fully stocked. The only thing that I could not find that I really wanted were the candles. So they did not have the summer candles that were advertised. Um, they didn't have them there. But I did get two cans of black beans because that's a staple for us. We'll eat beans and rice in a pinch, not a problem for us. And then I always get stewed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and green beans. All of the vegetables and canned tomatoes were either 45 to 45 cents um, or 49 cents. So I got four cans of green beans, four cans of diced tomatoes, four cans of stewed tomatoes, and two cans of black beans, because I already have black beans in my pantry. I also grabbed two packages of brown gravy mix. Those were 29 cents each. I just like to keep them on hand because I do use those for recipes. And then I just grabbed a small container of the real bacon bits. It's fully cooked, ready to serve bacon. And um, I got this for some recipes that I have coming up. And I plan on getting a bigger container when I go to Sam's. So I just got that small thing. And then I always like to try store brand sugar cookies. I like to make sugar cookies, homemade sugar cookies sometimes too. But I also like the packaged cookies. And I've never tried their sugar cookie mix. So wanted to try it. And then I got two avocados for my husband. He likes avocados on pretty much everything. But when we have the beans and rice that I was telling you about, he really likes to have avocados with that. So I grabbed him that. And I also grabbed him some cookie thins. He likes crunchy cookies and he likes coconut. And I have bought these for him before and he really liked them. So I just grabbed another bag for him. And then I can't remember if I've ever tried their um, knock off Cheez-Its, but I've tried their other crackers and they were one of my favorites too on my video. Um, and I've been craving these cheese crackers, so I just decided to give them a try. I hope they taste very similar to Cheez-Its. And then during my last Aldi haul, they found, I found their lemon pound cake mix and I made that recently and showed it on one of my what's for dinner videos and it's really good. I'm not a, I'm not a huge pound cake person. My husband does like it. So when I saw this regular pound cake mix, I decided to give it a try. So excited about that. And then every time I go to Aldi, I always get the jasmine rice. This was 515. We eat a lot of rice. And so I just like to have it. I don't want to run out of it. When the pandemic first started, I actually did almost run out of rice and then I couldn't find it anywhere. And so I just like to have it on hand now. And then I personally love Fritos. Howard's not a big fan, um, but I just like to snack on Fritos. And I don't think I've tried the Clancy brand of Fritos. So I wanted to give them a try. And these are the Big Dippers and I have some dips that I plan on making, so I needed some of those. And then the last thing that I picked up was this coconut spray. I have some grapeseed spray and I'm almost out of it. And this was, I think, $2.99. I don't know that I've ever seen it there at Aldi. And they also had an avocado spray as well. So this is it. This is everything that I picked up for my monthly Aldi haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.